Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you're at. We're so glad you've joined us for our first Juniata College instrumental music, uh, wind instrument chamber concert live stream, uh, our first live stream. So I'm Dr. Latin, and it's uh, great to have you here. Our uh, first piece is by the woodwind trio that's behind me. We are doing The Whirlwind by Francois Dendreau. Um, as, as you know, we are doing mainly uh, chamber music, small group things, which required a lot of digging through the libraries and, and purchasing new music for these small groups. This particular one is a charming uh, start to the concert, about three minutes long. Uh, sold to us by the Jack Spratt Woodwind Shop of Greenwich, Connecticut. So I just love that. It's a charming piece and we hope you enjoy the whirlwind. next piece is uh, entitled Three Pieces for Three Woodwinds, again with our woodwind trio behind me. Give you a little bit of the lay of the land of today's concert. Uh, we have this trio that uh, you've just heard. Uh, on the other side of the camera, on the other side of the hall, is our honor saxophone quartet. You'll be hearing some things from them as well. In the midst of this, we'll have a short intermission during which I'm going to give you a little tour of what Rosenberger Auditorium or Oler Hall has become during the COVID uh, pandemic and how we've been able to uh, uh, push ahead and uh, and have students using the facility. So this is um, in three movements by Robert Washburn. The first movement is Prelude and Fugue, followed by a Passacaglia, and then an Invention for the third movement. So this is Robert Washburn's Three Pieces for Three Woodwinds.
We move now to our honored saxophone quartet. Uh, They're located in a different part of the hall, so we're gonna switch the uh, camera shot in just a, in a minute. Their first piece um, is 99% uh, rehearsed and created uh, on their own, which is the essence of, of chamber music. Some of our pieces today are being conducted. I don't think you can see me doing that, but, but I am. Others not, and this one is not only not conducted, but they have really taken uh, the initiative to bring up this piece. So this is um, arranged by Philip Lowen, our saxophone and improvisation professor here at the college. It is entitled Simple Gifts. The saxophone quartet's second piece. Uh, we kick it back about 300 years now into the Baroque period. This is called Overture Baroque. Uh, one of two, three really well-known composers on today's concert. This is originally by Telemann, and certainly not for saxophones, not having been invented yet in the Baroque period. Uh, but this is from Telemann's Suite in A minor, arranged by Claire Johnson for saxophone quartet. So we hope you enjoy.
We return now to the Woodwind Trail, and they are performing Sweet for Three Woodwinds by one of the most uh, household names of composers in the field of classical music, Robert Schumann. Uh, this is arranged by Albert Say. Uh, these are three short, uh, charming pieces entitled Doll's Slumber Song, Evening Song, and Canon. So we're back to our Honors Woodwind Trio, and this is a suite by Robert Schumann.
So we invite you to, uh, after this next piece, take a little bit of an intermission. We're gonna do that for, for our students. During that time, I'm gonna kinda show you around a little bit. Many of you are used to seeing Rosenberger Auditorium in its normal state, and I thought you might be interested in seeing what we've done this semester, so, um, with, uh, with COVID concerns. Uh, this next piece, to close off the first half, is by another popular composer, uh, Scott Joplin from the 19th century. This is an arrangement of maple leaf rag for the saxophone quartet with uh, some guy on drums. So we hope you enjoy maple leaf rag. Thank you. 
Well, through the magic of uh, 21st century technology, we can hear you clapping. We hear the hundreds of you doing that, and we thank you so much. Uh, it is for the students, and, and I know they really appreciate it. It's a little different. Usually after each song, there's actually live applause, but we appreciate that you're doing that uh, there. We're going to give the students just a few minutes of a break. Let me tell you what's happening after that, because I very much want you to stay tuned in. Um, each of the ensembles will have uh, one more piece. Actually, the woodwinds have two short ones, and the saxophones have a, uh, a piece as well. And uh, really like you to stay for those. They're quite short. After this 10 minute or so intermission, there's about 11 minutes worth of music. We should get all this in before uh, the hour. So do stay with us. During this intermission, I, I first of all wanted to uh, thank some people off stage here, Jesse Sullivan and her crew, Luke Fragello and, and his crew. Um, these uh, crews and uh, leaders have made the live stream possible, and uh, we appreciate that very much. Wanted to discuss a little bit about what your students, if you, if you have children here today, um, have done instrumentally. We have, uh, uh, not necessarily for what you're seeing right now, but throughout the semester, students have been kept uh, not six feet apart, but 15 feet apart. Uh, they actually, most of them have two masks, one underneath with a hole for the instrument, and then another mask to go across the, the top. They have their own music stands. We are primarily not using chairs, again, for uh, uh, sanitation uh, purposes to keep everybody safe. Uh, we're sanitizing all the mallets, all the sticks, every triangle. Uh, there, there are uh, sanitizers and towels on walls everywhere here. So we're doing our best to keep people safe and still making music. Rehearsals have been kept to 45 minutes or less, uh, with uh, 30 minutes of air exchange time before the next rehearsal starts. So taking on a little bit of a, a tiny tour here. Um, we are, of course, in Rosenberger Auditorium. Some of you may refer to that as Oler Hall. Uh, in either case, it has been uh, somewhat transformed this semester for students to uh, be able to have classes in here. As I alluded to at the beginning, um, a number of larger spaces on campus, which don't usually function as classrooms, needed to become classrooms. So we'll kind of take a little walk around here. What, uh, what we have backstage is kind of a percussion storage area. That's not new, but they're getting ready for a concert in a few days. And that's sort of uh, what we call stage right. Over on stage left, you've been hearing our woodwind trio over this way, so we've sort of created uh, half a stage along the side. Uh, what uh, you may not expect if you went to college here or if you've been in our auditorium before is we go this way and we have a bit of a classroom. Here we have a microscope and some uh, uh, ge geology rocks and a little bit further and there's actually a place for a number of teachers to do their uh, teaching of, of geology. There's a communications uh, class in here and some others. You'll notice the, the final thing before we go to a little bit of a break is that out here in the seating area, uh, there are hundreds, maybe a thousand dots on chairs. And these are to indicate which chairs should be used, which chairs should not be used. Uh, if they're being used for a regular class, of course, the standard is they have to be six feet apart at this point. And if they're being used for singing, then uh, they're even farther away. So you'll see different colored dots that uh, signify that. We, of course, hope that all the dots will come away soon and this pandemic will go away. But in the meantime, we've been able to keep making music, using this uh, facility for uh, as much and more of what it was designed to be. So we're going to take a brief intermission. Uh, there's probably five or six minutes left in that. And then we have one piece by each of the groups. So we'll be right back.
Well, welcome back. We're uh, glad you're joining us for the second half. Uh, about 20 minutes, uh, or about 11 minutes actually, worth of music here in the second half. We'll have a piece uh, of, by our woodwind trio, and then one more by our saxophone quartet. So thanks again for being here. Regarding the woodwind trio, our next piece, we were joking last night that all these pieces seem to be called Trio for Woodwinds or something like that. This one's a little bit different in many ways. This is called Diversions. It is by Peter Schickele. And for some of you, when I said Peter Schickele, uh, you realized, oh, that's another famous composer, but not like most composers. Peter Schickele was, more, was better known as PDQ Bach. Now, in this day and age, we know that uh, the famous J.S. Bach had about 20 children. Um, a, uh, the, the joke going around these past few months is that a 21st was discovered PPE Bach for personal protection equipment Bach, but that's a joke. But PDQ Bach is really a fake person. The, the name of Peter Schickele has been used, and I'll, I'll quote Google to say that PDQ Bach has, uh, during the 20th century, combined parodies of Baroque music, classical music, um, other musicological scholarship, and slapstick comedy to put together some pieces. So when I saw this piece, it wasn't, it didn't say PDQ Bach, it said Peter Schickele. So I said, this may be something that's a little bit more serious. And it's, uh, it's different, that's for sure. Uh, these uh, two diversions, the first one is called Bath. The composer says, and I, and I doubt when you take a bath, you think of the types of tunes we're about to play. But the composer says that the first movement, Bath, is contemplative which is the way the composer gets when bathing. I'll just leave it at that. It sounds like maybe he takes different baths than the rest of us. The second movement is called billiards. He takes a moment and plays with sound equivalents of the way in which billiard balls set each other in motion. So we're playing two movements from Peter Schickele's Diversions. The first one is very short, it's called Bath. The second one, equally short, is called Billiards.
thank you again for uh, attending today. We really appreciate it. We sure hope that in the near future you'll be able to be live here for uh, our spring concerts. We certainly hope that's the case. Uh, we wish you a uh, great Thanksgiving, great holiday season, um, and uh, we appreciate it very much. Our final piece is by the Honors Saxophone Quartet. This is a piece by John Mackey, whose name is uh, newer than some of the composers we've had in the past, but uh, is a big name in the field of uh, musical composition today for bands, orchestras, chamber groups, and uh, all sorts of ensembles. We're very happy to have an ensemble that can perform strange humors. So this is for saxophone quartet plus that same guy on djembe. So we hope you enjoy John Mackey's Strange Humors.
thank you so very much for being here. We have additional concerts coming up, um, and we hope you can take part in those from the comforts of your uh, viewing space. We want to just uh, pan not only over the saxophone quartet, but also on our way, our woodwind trio. Uh, please join me in thanking them. Uh, again, we can hear you through, this, uh, through these little speakers, and we know you're clapping. So would you please give it up for these folks? Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.